the first live show tomorrow night, Shirley. And can you tell us how it's all going? Well, I think it's all going to be rather exciting. This um, cast of celebrities, I mean, it's like a box of chocolates. You open it and you don't really know what you're going to get. So it's just going to be the most exciting journey. I think they've done an impeccable job of picking all these uh, celebrities. You, as, a, as a pro dancer, I know now that when someone walks through a doorway, I mean, by the way, the pro dancer is Shirley, yes. not me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was no, wondering. No one is going to make that mistake. As a pro dancer, Shirley, uh, you know when someone walks through a doorway where they, they can dance or not. I know that you guys know. It's amazing. You spot it. It's like ski instructors. You know straight away. Well, when the I look at you with your gorgeous posture and your long legs, I can see that you're a beautiful ballroom dancer. Well, I'm actually but, quite prone to the Latin too. So. Oh, bless you. But I mean, I should have started at, at the age of six. That's the thing, <laughs> like, like you did. And I just wonder whether, why even hold the contest because you know who the best dancers are at the very start? Well, not really, because if we go back to last season and we look at Aston, uh, poor chap, I mean, fantastic dancer, was in the running to perhaps be the champion. And then he failed when he got to his Viennese waltz. Well, knocked out for wearing a wig, wasn't it? That's the, uh, that's the rule, no, never wear a wig. I just say it was that. Uh, I think the whole packaging, but definitely the dancing for sure, yeah. was not up to scratch. You know, two bodies in close contact, you know, four legs, four arms. You've got to get all your bits and bobs in the right direction and moving and then swinging and the, the music, lights, that, camera, yeah. action. Yeah. yeah, it's the first series without Brendan Cole. I remember him. He's such a. <laughs> I such think a... I was going to get through this season without that name being. <laughs> I think we've got a picture. What what happened there? Because he's uh, absolute stalwart. Do you know what happened? You can say no if you want. Well, you know, I've known Brendan Cole a long, long time. I have a lot of respect for him. I think he's an amazing dancer. I think he's added a lot to the show. I think he's done very well with the students. I'm just sorry that, you know, he happened to think that my critiques were personal when in actual fact they're not. My, per my views are in order to help people improve. I want to see people improve. I want to see their But he, I'm really asking about why he, why he got the boot. Do they ever tell you that? I'm the head judge on Strictly Come Dancing. I'm not the person who hires and fires. Okay, so he just <laughs> one day disappears and nobody asks. That's like the whole show. Just and keep then... moving. <laughs> <laughs> Quick stepping, Jeremy. Now, there, there is the, the other sensitive issue is, is about the pay row, where the dancers, the pros, apparently don't like being paid 50 grand a year. They want more. Now, I know a lot of dancers are underpaid, do you take a side in something like that? I take no side. I mean, at the end of the day, to each individual and to what they feel that they need, you know. I mean, I was very happy with the way the BBC have treated me last year and I enjoyed the job. So for me, it was more about the work. I mean, I understand that everybody has to earn a living and I can't really speak on behalf of the professionals. Sure. So I don't know. There but is. But you're looking forward to it and you can't, you honestly can't, looking at it now, tell us or even think who you know is going to win. Is that right? You know, there are so many good people. When I looked at the launch show and I saw everybody walking, I was like, oh, which one? Oh, they're, they're all good. I mean, this uh, Danny, I'm naming him Danny Dapper. Because we've got, he's we've got just, the picture here. Yeah. I do. We've got the actually on the screen, so we can, we can see them all. Yes, Danny Dapper is just, looks like just this gorgeous gentleman who, you know, came down that runway, so to speak. Looks like he's going to be a marvellous ballroom dancer. I mean, Joe Sugg, he was out there wiggling and jiggling. I mean, what's he going to bring? We've got some people with a little experience I think, some with non-experience, but I think it'll be the journey. It doesn't matter if you have a little bit of experience bopping from foot to foot. It's mm. whether you can cha-cha-cha and samba and all those dances. I, I really like the two Katies. Kate, Kate Silverton is a friend of mine. Katie Piper, I so admire for what she's been through in her life and to see her doing that. So I'd love them to do well. Carol, who about, how about you? Yeah, I mean, I'm with you on, on the two girls. I mean, I know Kate as well, and I, and I really hope she does well. I, I think and it's, it's what you're saying as well. It's, it's not just the dance, it's how they perform. Can you be a performer as well as a good dancer, which is quite important. You've got to... Well, if I mean, some of these have got no dance experience, but they've, yeah. they've done acting, they've got acting skills, yes, they'll bring their is, personality. I mean, someone like Ed Balls, who had no dancing skills oh, Ed or whatever. Oh, is my favourite. Yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> he could, but... Where are you, Ed? You know, well, he, he was reborn on it that's he why was. people enjoyed oh, seeing that yeah people didn't like him much before as a politician but on that show because he was prepared to throw himself into it sometimes make he a gave a hundred percent he, he was did. a total entertainer yeah. and okay. he put the spray tan on the whole yes. night <laughs> well, we got into that <laughs> did you jeremy did you put that tan on i did but there was an incident that i mustn't repeat <laughs> go on where it's slightly something something happened that i can't talk about was that where you had to take everything off yes it oh, is oh i read about that no 
know it is. Well, I had Stark to. Stark naked, everything yeah. got tamped. But is this... Is had this to, according to Alias, yeah. Is this what you were talking about when you said you've got to keep your bits and bobs in place? Was oh, yeah, it, keep was all it your to bits do... and bobs. I'm not sure about where his bits and bobs were, but... I don't Especially know either, fake, yeah. When you've got fake tan on your bits and bobs, you've yeah. really yeah. got to make sure they're okay. in the right place. Let's move on. on. <laughs> <laughs>